Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at pivot tables and in particular making sure that every field that you select into that pivot table is displayed and that is regardless of whether the value for each of those fields has a, a, a quantity in there or a value in there or whether it has a zero value. So for example you can see here we've got a motor vehicle company and I've brought over the salespeople or the full name of the salespeople and also the product that they're selling. In this instance, there's actually five products that each of them are selling, bike, hatch, sedan, SUV, and truck, and the quantities are displayed. As you can see with Kate Jackson, she's only got four of those products displayed, which means the one that's missing, which is sedan, actually had a zero quantity. So what we are going to try and do is update this pivot table to the one, the example you can see on the right, where Kate Jackson is still there, but with the five products and sedan included with a zero. Now that doesn't automatically happen with pivot table, you need to do a few steps and I'll take you through how to do that. So I'll just delete the pivot table to start with and we'll start from scratch. So what you're going to need to do is to click into the pivot table and in particular the field that you are missing data with and this one is the, the product field so I'm going to click in any of those cells right click go down to the field settings and within field settings there are a couple of tabs go to the layout and print tab and down within that tab you can see there is show items with no data tick that checkbox and press OK so what you see now is that every salesperson has all five vehicles under their name regardless of whether they have any sales and as you can see with Kate Jackson, she has zero sales in sedan, so it comes up with a blank. And looks like Vanessa Messi also has zero sales, but in the bike category. So the next step, what you want to do is maybe potentially put the, the number zero rather than the blanks in that particular pivot table. So I'll quickly show you how to do that and we'll wrap up. And before I do, if you like what you see, um, please click that like button or subscribe to the channel. Okay, so to add the zeros where the blanks are, again, another easy step anywhere in that pivot table. Right click, go down to pivot table options this time. And within the, the pivot table options, there are a bunch of tabs. We are going to go to the layout and format tab. And we can see there's a section for, for empty cells show. This is ticked, make sure it's ticked if it isn't. and Wherever there's a blank, you can type whatever you want. So it can be a word or, or letters. In my instance, I'm going to select the number zero and press OK. And now you can see everywhere where there is uh, zero quantity for the particular product, uh, the zero appears in the place where it should. So that's it. That's as simple as it is. So I hope you enjoyed and we'll uh, see you next time.